guys' favorite foods? Yell them out. <coughs> Nutella. Okay, interesting choice. Anyone else? All I've heard is Nutella. Rice and beans. Rice and beans. Okay. Rice and beans and Nutella cannot be uh, sushi. sushi. Uh, there's a sample of something that my, my, a lot of people might like. Chicken. 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 Awesome. What was it? Popcorn. Popcorn. Anyone else? You guys, you guys like uh, desserts? <laughs> not so much. You guys are not the sweet crowd here. Okay. All right, so there's different types of foods. Here's the interesting thing. With food, and we've talked about this, if you had a favorite food, if you consumed it all the time, that would be consistent with the idea of the law of transitivity. It's always better than the next best option. Because we have a preference for variety, we don't do that. Right? So here's the interesting way that I'm kind of thinking about this. Now, before you jump in here and volunteer, I'm going to ask for volunteers. Uh, I just want to be clear about what I'm asking you to do. We are going to mimic Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. But we're going to do so in a slightly different way. I have brought three boxes of Swiss rolls up here. And before you get any, any ideas, you need to know if you eat the entire box, which is what I'm going to ask you to do, that you would be eating uh, 1,800 calories. So that's pretty much the entire daily intake. What I'd like to get is I'd like to get, we have three different sections of the room, so we've got uh, the two sides in the center. There's one person from the side to come up and represent that portion of the room. One, for, one person from this side to represent that portion of the room. And someone in the middle. Now, don't raise your hand and look at me so that I can select you. It, it, you are need to go and turn around and look at your uh, section and say, I'm willing to do it. If they nod and say, we want to have you, then you'd be chosen. All right? So each section, pick someone who's a champion. I'm willing to do it. And I'll explain <laughs> how you get some participation points. Okay? Here's what I need then in each part of the room. Uh, I need a list or a couple of lists circulated over here so that you guys can all sign up for your champion. All right, so every while he does, you get what, what he gets, makes in the game. Right here in the middle, we'll get a couple of sheets going around. If you guys can start some sheets here in the middle, uh, we'll get your champion here uh, identified. And the same is true over there. If you guys can get a couple of lists going around, uh, that way I'll be able to give you some points for this. So I'm going to describe the activity, how they make the participation points. I'll give them a chance to say their name on the mic. And you guys can root them on. So this is basically how it works. When the game starts, they then and only then can they tear to the box. Inside the box, there are 12 Swiss cake rolls. For each of the Swiss cake rolls they eat, uh, in three minutes, they get 100 participation points. If they down the whole box in three minutes, they get a $1,000 bonus. And if they're the first person done, they get $2,000 on top of that. Second place yields $1,000. Third place, no bonus. Okay, that's the way it works. Now, let me explain this. Look up. Look up there at Joey Chestnut. If they suffer a reversal, your section of the room does not get anything. So I know you want to root them on, that's fine, but here's the, if you see them getting to that point, you need to ask them to slow down, okay? So just say, take it easy, my friend, figure something out. Right. So whatever it is, okay? Because uh, I don't want to see the reversal any more than you guys want to see the reversal, okay? I'm Chris. You guys got Chris, all right? So root on Chris. I'm Chris. You guys got Jeff. Eric, aka E Rock. Eric, aka E Rock. So, you guys have Eric, Jeff, and Chris. Okay. Man, I'm going to put a timer up on the screen so that we can count down the timer. And uh, don't open it up yet. Here we go. Timer's getting ready. Let's go. You guys ready for this? Ready? 
So it's getting rolls. They're awesome. Right? It's like down like this, down, down. Then it stays down for a while. Until what? We get close to the end, right? When they're all getting done, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna make it. Right? And so then we have Eric and Chris. I did make it right here. Yeah. And then we have Jeff. Alright, like, oh no. Alright? So that's what happened, alright? So you know, that's at some point what you get is you get this, you know, diminishing marginal utility. And uh, I guess what's neat about it is as a concept, and this is the, the point I'm trying to get through. Okay, good. Alright, welcome back. Right. No problem with that, no problem. So what's neat is this applies to the consumption of every product? So all we've talked about so far are golf and tires uh, and food. Uh, but I suspect there are many things in life you guys enjoy more than any of the things that have been mentioned so far. What's something that's better than food, for instance? What? Any takers? Money. Okay. We've talked about money already. Something better than money or food? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Where? Who said what? Women. Women? Okay. But <laughs> well, we can broaden that out a little bit. Sex up here. Okay. Is sex better than food? What do you guys say? <laughs> oh, it's like a mystery action right there on that. Okay. So how many of you would definitely say sex is better than food? Some of you are raising your hand, some of you are saying no. Mostly guys are saying that. I'm not sure why that's the case. Uh, Alright, so for anyone here who thinks uh, that sex is better than food, would you mind uh, speaking on the microphone? Would you <laughs> See who's here? Anybody here? Jeff has already been through enough today. <laughs> so I'm looking for somebody other than Jeff who thinks that sex is better than food. Who's in? I saw 20 hands. So you're not willing to admit it on the microphone. Is that what you're saying? Anybody? Sex is better than food. That's all you have to do. Yes? She's in. All right, this is awesome. Okay. So just say your name. Jen. This is Jen. So uh, well, I wouldn't say it depends on the food and it depends on the person. <laughs> I wouldn't say definitely, but if you gave me like an option, I could tell you which one's better. Okay, so, uh, I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to give you an option. All right, so, so, but but she says it depends. But now that's a qualified yes. I, there were hands up that didn't look like it was a qualified yes to me. It was just like a yeah, my hand is up. All right, so who who's going to step up to the mic and say yeah, I meant it? Yes. Okay. It's exciting. All right, so here you go. Say your name. I'm Ben. Hey, this is Ben. He thinks that sex is better than food. I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed three meals a day, but like, you gotta be a real lucky guy. So we're gonna go that route. Okay, so Ben, after you had sex, do you want to do it again right away? Maybe <laughs> like. Once more. Once? Once? <laughs> and then you're done? Is that what you're saying? Most days. Most days. Okay. So, actually, Ben, that's, that's very good. Uh, I'm impressed that you can go twice. Uh, because, because when you get to be 46, I'm one and done. All right? so, Well, let's just move on for that. Uh,